Oh, good. Wonderful. Beautiful. Morning, audience. Yeah, I know. You want to tell them how our day is going? You want to tell them? Say, guys, there's a birdie stuck in a garage. I know. I understand. It's very stressful. Thank you for them woos. Thank you so much for them woos. There's a bird in a garage, and we're going to go see if we can get him out of there. Yeah, I know. It's very stressful. Very, very stressful. I don't have a butterfly net, so I can't catch him. But we're going to go see what we can do. So, not my favorite thing in the world. Did you see it? Hi. A bird has made it into the garage. And he cannot figure out how to get out. We left the garage door open, but he keeps going back in that corner. Hi, buddy. Don't fly near me, though. Yeah, that way. You're close. You almost made it. He keeps flying this way, but the problem is he wants to go high over the door instead of out the door. You're really cute, but you got to get out of my garage. Please. Thank oh, maybe? See, if he would just go down right there, he could make it out. But he gets stuck, like, right here. Yeah, I think he already went back. Let's see if we can get him out of here. All right, we're going to try to... You got to go down, dude. Down is the direct. That was down-er. Just go a little bit more down. No, I'm down. He don't like... Oh, no. If he goes in your box, we could close the box. He's definitely on the edge of the box. He is. I'm going to open this other door, too. He's out of the box. There he goes. He's back on the corner of the box. Okay, so now we've got... There he is. He's right there. He got out of the box. So Jamie decided to put this here so it could land on it as he's trying to fly. Because he knows he wants to go that way, but he has nowhere to land to, like, then fly out the door. So he might land on this. This is better than television, huh? I've sat over here because I figured out his flight path and I'm not so freaked out. Jamie's got food on top of that thing there. And the bird just can't figure out how to go out the door. He's behind me, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm trying not to move too much. I don't know where he went. He said, there he goes. He likes to go back there on my sled and then come on, just land. Oh, come on. Okay, do it. Land. Nope. Get down here. He's I know. I know. He's so close to you because if he lands on you, I just dropped my arm. I exactly. Oh, he thought Good. about it. He thought about it. He's thinking about it. He sees you. Dude, we're just trying to help. Okay, go from there. Hi. Bye. Wrong way. <laughs> oh, there he goes back. And he's going to come this way again. There he goes. Hi. There's the door, dude. The door. It's just a little lower. You got it. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I had hope. Yeah, we put a ladder here. He hasn't quite figured out how to go down. He just keeps going back and forth. I think he might be young. He likes to land there and go from there to the next one to the next one. But what he needs to do is go from there to there and out. I just don't know if he's going to figure it out. I just contacted my friend who does bird rescue. Hi, bud. And she's going to come and we're going to try to trap him. She thinks he his one wing might be injured and that's why he's not flying down. Because I can't figure out why he can't go from there to this or this and then out the door. And he's been in here for too long. We don't want him to stress out. Don't come back in, you dork. He was right here and he flew out and then he flew back in. How about... Stay out of my garage. Don't come back in this door either. I don't know where he flew to, but he's out of the garage. It was so funny. He flew, landed on the top of the door while it was open, and came out, and then came right back in. And I'm like, no, dude, leave. Leave. So he's flying around somewhere. Kira, do you just love the new road? Are you celebrating? Do we get the birdie out of the garage? Are you celebrating? Are you celebrate. 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 <laughs> Kira's like, I love this new rug. Yeah, I know. The dogs are loving the new beds as well. Yes, I know. They're loving the new beds as well. I just woke both of these two up, but 
they're they're loving those new beds. What do you think? If you guys didn't see the video the other day, we are now brand ambassadors for Snoozer, which makes um, oh yeah, I know. Amazing, phenomenal dog beds. Amazing. Look at these. These are just great. Like I could sit in this as a chair for me. It's perfect size. <laughs> But they're amazing, and I have some affiliate links for them and a coupon code for 15% off your order if you guys are interested in getting some beds. There will be some links and stuff. You know where to find them. What do you think, Miss Ma'am? She's like, I think you should feed me. That bird was in the garage for like three hours. It was kind of ridiculous. But he's gone. He's safe. He's out. And that's what matters. Pew! I'm going to check to see if Bird Friend came out here. Maybe he's eating at the feeder. There was just some birds eating at the feeder, but not the one that came out of the garage. You're going to eat up some bird food? It's like, yeah, I'm going to eat this bird food. The bird wouldn't eat it. They eat it. They just throw it on the ground. Look at that tree over there is starting to change color. And our tree is starting to change color. And it's harder. Oh, no, you can tell. The edges of these leaves are starting to change color. It's happening. Hi, Miss Kyrdia. Watch out. That, do you hear it? There, yeah, do you hear it? That tree back there is dropping bombs. <laughs> these right here. You know, it's, when it's windy like this, and these hit you in the head, they don't feel great. They kind of hurt. Ugh, this whole tree still has so many acorns to drop. So, you know what that means? We got a roll, ro no. Okay, you're not supposed to eat these. You cannot eat the acorn. Hey, ma'am, these are not for eating. No. No. Uh -uh. Good job. She's like, oh, mama will yell at me if I try to eat that. You finding apples? Most of the apples have fallen from the tree. I took a couple inside and cut them up and threw them in the freezer. Most of these, because we don't treat them, most of the apples aren't great anyway. But I gotta. I think we're gonna go to the apple farm maybe this week and get Kira some apples. Well, all you girls, of course. But we'll throw some in the freezer for Miss Kira because I'm out of frozen apples. Look at how many acorns we've picked up already. This year, we're trying to put them on here to let them dry out. Don't, don't, you can sniff, you can't eat it. Anyway, we're trying to put them on here and let them dry out and then we can use them possibly to feed the squirrels in the winter time, at least that's what Jamie thinks. So we might try it. Don't, they're usually pretty good at not pulling them out of here, usually, but not always. And if you're new here, this is one of the nut gatherers we have. This is another one of the nut gatherers that we have. This one's kind of nice because when you're just out here and you just want to kind of push it around, watch. Boop. See, picked up the acorn. It's in there. So you roll it around. Oop, there's another one. Oop, there's another one. This one though, it makes me feel like I'm like painting really poorly. Painting really poorly, I guess it would be. <laughs> you hear that? Did you guys hear that? That was so loud. The neighbor has a metal roof and they fall on the metal roof. Boop. So yeah. Boop. So there's this one. That's used for when there's not that many on the ground. And then there is this one. That as you roll, let's see if we get some right here. Blink, blink, blink. So it picks them up as you roll it and chucks them into the basket. I knew there was quite a few up here, so we'll go this way for a second. Jamie did this yesterday, so there's not as many on the ground as normal. But this will pick them up and throw them in that little basket and the leaves, anything else that grabs rocks, whatever. But this one works really good when there's a ton on the ground. It's just heavy to push around, but it works. Picks up the acorns so the dogs don't eat them. Oh, I started her motor. I, st I started the puppy's motor. She likes this acorn roller. Let's see if I get her to do it again. Here, it's coming for you. It's co oh my gosh, we almost got murdered. Ready? It's coming for you. It's coming for you. Oh my goodness, can you hear them falling? They're falling everywhere, don't you do it! <laughs> don't you dare! Don't you eat that acorn! Oh my goodness, and you're gonna give Memphis her zoomies? What is going on? What is going on? We started the puppy's motor. We started it. Look out, she has lost the marbles. The marbles have been lost. Eleanor, look! Eleanor, Eleanor! I was just picking up acorns, that's all, I swear. <clears throat> you get her, Kira! Get her! Kira's like, I kick your butt. Get her, Kira. Eleanor, look! Eleanor, look! Ready? Ready? Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> get her, Kira! Here 
here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, did you just poke here in the butt? That wasn't nice. She was like, puppy, I swear, I'll kick your butt. Get her, Kira. Yeah. Don't eat the acorns off the actual. Oh my goodness, you really have lost your marbles. Look out, she's gonna knock you down. Whoop. Marbles have been lost. Completely lost. <laughs> that is not for playing on like that. Look out, Kira! Whoa, look out, Eleanor! Look out! Hey, no, we're not taking the tree branches that Dad cut off the front tree. It's not what this is for. See, look. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, pick up all the acorns. And go like this. <laughs> Goofball. She's crazy. What are we gonna do with her? I'm pretty sure something comes out here at night and eats some of these acorns because they're all broken all over the place here. I'm gonna have to check the cameras and see if we can find whatever's eating these acorns. Look at that girl running. She's like, I got my pants on. She knows it's lunchtime. Jeez. You ain't kidding. They're falling on everything. All right, let's go feed these girls some lunch. Um. It sounds like printer down here. It does. But this is not printer. This is not printer. Jamie decided to order something on the internet. <laughs> and um, this is insane. My bag's starting to open. You know, everybody's going to ask after this, well, how come you didn't finish the dollhouse? <laughs> Maybe I, you will after this. I was say, your dollhouse is finished. My dollhouse is finished, yes. That is so crazy. Oh, it's mm. got to focus on it. Okay, there, now it's focused. That's, nice That's insane. Pots. Like, where's one of these grass things? Uh... I'll show you the cover of the box. This is what it is. Actually, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link for it down in the video description below. But that is what it is. And Jamie's building a DIY miniature flower house. And he had to put all of these things together. Yeah, I literally built that out of what are these out little flowers. Out of these little flowers, yeah. And paper. That is just. I, I don't know how you have patience for this. Hey, look, it's garden. A little watering can. I know. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you have the patience for this. <laughs> but, I mean, it looks cool. Eventually, you'll finish it. You won't finish it today because you've already been working on it for what, two days? Why well, you yeah. think you'll finish it today? You kind of gave it that look, like you might. It's not. It's not far away. It's really? a lot of assembly now. Huh. I mean, huh? it was all been assembly, but you know, it's so crazy. Well, if you get it finished tonight, we'll show it. If not, it'll be in a future video. I'm pretty sure this is just an aquarium part, and then <laughs> it looks like the thing I'm holding is the thing that would be on like your sweater or your coat to keep oh, for, the yeah the string not, yeah the string tied up. That's so crazy. crazy. I guess. You didn't read my book. Uh, this isn't the gardening book. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Okay, maybe it's a lot of just the repeat. Did you know? I can't even hold it. Did you know that there are people out there that are afraid of miniatures? They have a miniature phobia? Did you know that? I mean, this book could get stuck in your lungs. <laughs> Don't breathe this. Don't breathe this. <laughs> By the time this goes up, these will probably already be gone, but there's all kinds of stuff happening in the printers as well. I don't think, I'm gonna have to have Jamie catch it on camera one time because uh, I don't think we actually have it on camera at all. I don't think you guys understand how snuggly this dog is at night. Hi, yes, I know. I laid down for two seconds. I wasn't even gonna go to bed, but I laid down for two seconds and you thought it was snuggle time. So as soon as I hit my side of the bed, Eleanor comes up here for snuggles. And she's getting pretty good. Oh, she might she might be over it now. She's getting pretty good at taking that paw and going, Hey, hey, you should give me some more snuggles. You should you should snuggle me more, because I need more. What if I stop? What if I put my hand here where you can see it? I don't want you to lick it. It's gross. You gonna paw at it? You're not gonna paw at it. You're gonna get up, I was gonna say, if I don't pet you, 
If I don't pet you fast enough. There's the paw. I saw it. I saw it that time. Are you going to do it again? Yeah. She's like, don't stop. Never, never stop. Never stop. Usually, Miss Kira is next to me as well, and I can't film, so I have one hand here and one hand over here. I gotta pet Kira on her chest. That's usually right where she lays. Memphis always gets her snuggles before, but Kira knew it wasn't actually time to go to bed, so she didn't come to bed. I'm not ready for bed yet. It's not, ti it's not time yet. We'll get to do this all over again when we actually do come to bed. What do you think about that? Think about that. What do you think about that? I need just demand it. Demand the pets. Demand them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Your bedtime routine? She's like, yeah, this is my bedtime routine. I should probably make a new video like that over, yes, over on the dog channel because uh, I don't think everybody has seen Eleanor's bedtime routine. <laughs> so the other day, we put up a video, and in the outro of the video, you saw the new rug and the new dog beds. But then in the next video, we installed the new, installed, we put up the new rug and set out the new dog beds. That was because I had forgotten outro, and I wasn't where I could make an outro, so we used an outro from the next video. A little confusing, right? Some of you caught it, some of you didn't. I thought that was kind of funny. So anyway, this is the new outro for the video that I stole the outro from. So, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And maybe see you again soon. I think Stinky Kitty Friend is back because I smell him. I check the yard every time now because we smell him so often anymore. I think I do think he's living out in front of our house, but thankfully he's not in the yard. Good night, audience.